Let me just say that this question is a little bit of a pain in the butt. It's very unusual for a physics question. In fact, it's more of a chemistry question. But here you have arrangement of atoms in a crystal. It's like what we call a lattice, like a grid, a network. Each atom is at the corner of a cube. And this is a very important clue that we might need to use later. Corner of a cube. The mass of each atom is 3.5. So each of these little dots, 3.5 times 10, negative 25. Really small mass of an atom. The density is given to us. And they ask us, what's the shortest distance between the centers of two adjacent atoms? Wow, what kind of question is this? What they're asking for is x which is from here to here, between two atoms, what's the shortest distance? So you may think of, huh, density, got mass. Uh, oh, maybe we can use this. Density equals to mass over volume, but for the whole crystal. So maybe what we can do is, how is volume related? Oh, volume is x cube or length cube. Let's say this whole thing is... Uh, big X or big L. Okay, L cube. Hmm. Volume is L cube of this whole thing. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, actually, never mind, never mind, never mind. We want to find this. Let's call this X because size of the cube. Okay, let's go. So we want to find V equals to the mass of the whole crystal divided by the density. And V here we know is X cube. You know the volume of this whole cube? So if one side is X, and the volume is x cubed. So the mass, how are we going to do the mass? How many atoms are there? You kind of have to count. In each layer, there are nine. So you see this top layer? There are nine. So the next layer got nine, the next layer got nine. There should be 27 of them. So 27 times 3.5 times 10, negative 25 kg. Divide by density, 9.2 times 10 to the 3 kg per meter cube. And then you will get an x of about 1 times 10 to the 9. No, negative 9, sorry. 1 times 10, negative 9. And you're like, hey, that's the whole length. But we want one distance here. So you got to divide that by 2. So if we use this answer and this method, we'll say, hey, maybe one of these is about 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative 9. And if you go check the answer, you realize something is, something is up. The first thing is no 0 0.5 is your answer. So you're like, okay, never mind. We come this far. Let's try and see if we can guess. So 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative 9 can also be written as 5.0 times 10 to the negative 10. So the answer might be C or D. It's quite close. But, but what is the answer? Well, if I have to do this during an exam and I'm running out of time, I would just say, I think 5 is closer to 3.4-ish. I'll make a gamble and choose C. And you might get the correct answer. Or you might choose D and you'll be a little bit off. Okay, so this is how you can roughly, roughly, roughly guess the answer based on their prefixes. But this is not the correct answer. Actually, how do you get the correct answer? That is what we're going to look at now. So, a bit of chemistry. You know, we I mentioned each atom is in the corner of a cube. So, actually... The mass that we use in our calculation is a bit too much. This mass is incorrect. And hence, this is wrong. How do you find the actual mass inside a cube? When we want to find the volume, we, you see how this, this, this thing is sticking out a bit of the cube, right? We only want to count the mass inside the cube. So each of these little cells are what we call actually a cubic unit cell so let me highlight that for you so that for example let's look at this one here this one is a cubic unit cell with atoms in the corners of the cell so i'm going to show you a picture how do you find the mass of the atom in the cell so actually uh, we want to be very strict uh this one has extra one in the middle but if you want to look at what is the mass of one unit all these corner atoms actually we have to chop it off we only take what is inside the box, those parts that are outside, we don't consider that. So if you just only look like, ignore the one in the middle, you look at this one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more behind, eight. Each atom only contribute one eighth. You're like chopping oranges, one eighth. So this is one eighth of atom mass. 
So if there's eight of them, one eight, that means this whole thing, the mass of this whole unit is just the mass of one atom. Oh, like that can ah? Okay. Well, this is the idea of chopping up things. You only count what's in the box. So let's see. If we recalculate what is the mass of one box. So in here, there's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight atoms in one cube. So hence, this mass will be one atom. So that will be 3.5 times 10 to the negative 25. The next question is, how many of these cubes are there in this whole lattice? Let's count. So this is one, two, three, four, and another four down there. Five, six, seven, eight. So in total, there are eight cubes in this crystal. And so the total mass would be eight times of 3.5 times 10, negative 25. Let's try this with the calculation now. Instead uh, of 27 times single atoms. Okay, let's do this. So now, density equals to mass over volume. But we know, hmm, not all the mass is counted because some of it is outside of the cube. So let's do this. We have a volume equals to mass over density. So volume will be x cubed equals to, now the mass, 8 times. Let's write it down. 8 times 3.5 times 10 negative 25. Density, 9.2 times 10 to the 3. Woo, and you get an x of about 6.7265 yeah, 6 times 10 to the negative 10. But don't forget, what is this x? This x is the whole crystal. And we want to find only this one distance between two adjacent atoms. So you need to divide by two. Okay. So the distance divided by two will be this. So divide by two. That's about 3.36 times 10 to the negative 10. And voila! That is the correct answer. Wow. Look at how this... Look at, look at this. Oh my goodness. So yeah, when I first saw this question, I was like, this is not a physics question. This is like chemistry. But the main trick you need to know is either estimate your way there or know that in each cube, only count the mass that is inside the cube. And so each cube only have this amount of mass because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The corners, they're only 1 eighth of an atom's mass. Alright, so that is for this question. I think it repeat two times already. MJ19, P12, Q21, and also MJ12, P12, Q22. So, wow, it's a trap that will appear again uh, because they know that people don't know how to do it. Okay, so remember this, how to think about crystal lattices, how the arrangement of atom matter, especially those in the corners and things like that. Okay, so that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.